What's going on guys, Tilzy6 here with Weekly Review and today we're going to be continuing on with our Let's Play of Super Mario World. On today's episode, we're going to be making our way through the next castle, which will be Roy's Castle. And in this castle, I will say that there is lots of fire, lots of movable platforms, and lots of other junk. And I absolutely hate those fire throwing thingy bobbers. The little... I don't even know what you would call those. I don't know what you would call them! I don't know what you would call them. Anyway, so let's go ahead and keep moving along this little platform. And dodging all these thingy bobbers. And let's go ahead and get try to get past these spikes and we'll grab some uh, dragon coins too. So there's one dragon coin. And let's go ahead and go after the second dragon coin. Alright. And let's go after the third dragon coin. Very nice. So that was pretty easy. Wow. Wow. Oh, Barmer. Super Mario World is awesome. But then it is also very difficult. Very difficult, and now I just died. No! Let's try that again. Alright, so let's go ahead and get back on the moving platform again. Grab the Yoshi Dragon Coin. Do This game's music is scary. But I love it so. It is the greatest underworld song. Look at that, that's weird. No! Wow. Just. Whoa! Whoa! Let's go ahead and go after the next dragon coin. Alright. Mm -hmm. This music is so great. Because. Because. This is so great. And I really hate- Look at that! Look at that! <laughs> Look at that! The fire- The fireball went straight through the platform. That is weird. That is so weird. Whoa, watch out for- Watch out for those again. Whoa! Alright. Let's go ahead and move on. And we need a mushroom. We need something to get bigger. Otherwise, we're gonna- Stink getting through here again. All right, there we go. All right, first watch out for those flamethrowers, and then watch out for the little mini Roy's, the little mini Bowser guys. Whoa! Get the feather. Get the feather. There we go. All right, got past all that. Awesome. Very nice. And let's take out Roy. And we're not gonna screw around with Roy, like how we did uh that last one. I think it was Morton that we were messing around with. Yeah. Alright, so we took out Roy, and Roy was pretty easy. Roy was, uh, he was pretty easy. Pretty easy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Alright, so we have taken out Roy, and... Whoa. Dude, like, I just stood by this castle one day, and, uh... I went ahead and threw some dynamite at it, and I tried to pull the trigger, and then as soon as I pulled it, I went over to the castle, boom, and the only thing that happened after it was I puffed out smoke. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, so we are in Chocolate World, and this is not going to be cool because Chocolate World is one of my nemesis, nemesises. That's like as bad as saying Genesis is. 
Like seriously, how would you even say that? Would you actually say Genesis is, or would you say Genesi, or would you say, I don't know what you would say. I would say Mega Drive. I mean, I know that's what a lot of other people would say, but how would you even be able to really say that? That just doesn't even sound right. Genesis is. Like, Genesis is fine, yes, but I'm saying otherwise. Like, Genesis... Genesis is... Genesis is. Yeah. Anyway, so we can't go in that pipe, so let's go ahead and go into the yellow pipe. And let's go ahead and shoot off and be like, Wee! Yeah, that was a horrible wee. And I'm not talking about wee wee. Like, repeat after me. Wee wee. Take it right off of Marco Rocco's Modern Life. I love Rocco's Modern Life. I don't care who else says different. Like, I think Rocco is hilarious and Filbert is, uh, freaking hilarious. He's like, I'm nauseous. I'm nauseous. I'm nauseous. I'm nauseous. Yeah, and I would think Yoshi's getting nauseous from, uh, eating all that he's been eating. Man, I mean, God. He's like a freaking truck that just. Wow. I remember the first time I went ahead and did that when I was first trying out the stage. I failed so many times on that. Like, I swear to God, I failed so many times on that. But we passed it, so all right. So let's go ahead and move on to the next stage, and we're going to go through a bonus room. And we're going to see if we can get some uh, one-ups on here. And it looks like I'm going to get about four of them. All right. Maybe four? Maybe five? Nope, four of them. Hey, four's fine. All right. So let's go ahead and move on to Chocolate Island Ghost House. Okay, now this one, I will tell y'all straight out, I hate this ghost house. And there's a reason why. And it's not because of mutant bubbles. It's not mutant bubbles. It's not these guys. It's this thingamabobber. This little fishing ghost will haunt me for the rest of my days. Stay away from me. Stay away from me in your little shiny blue flame. Your shiny blue flame of death. Stay away from me. Eh? Stay away from me! No! <laughs> you suck! You suck, ghost! I hate you! I hate you so much. I hate you so much. I wish I could kill you. But I can't kill you because apparently you can't be killed. If I had a star, I don't even know if the star would work on that thing. I have no idea. No! You stupid ghost. That should have been an automatic death right there. I touched that other ghost as I was going by that. My god, leave me alone! You were like a stalker. You were like a stalker, you stupid ghost. Stay away from me. Seriously, get off of my... Oh my god, are you kidding me? Go, just go, just go, just go. Whoa! Jesus Christ. Whoa. There we go. Get in. Whew. Okay. Now here comes the fun part. I'm gonna have to lead all these ghosts that are also able to change into blocks. And we're gonna go ahead and lead them over here so we can get into this door. Because that's the only way we're gonna get up there unless if we had a feather. If we did have a feather, we could easily get up there. And I hate those lines of ghosts, too. Those lines of ghosts can be, uh, it can sure be a pain. All right, let's go into the door. Are you kidding me? I touched the door before that. Ah, uh, what? Just whatever, whatever. Like seriously, this game wants to own me again, like episode four. I don't want to be owned like that again. I want to try to finish this, if anything, in at least twelve episodes. I mean, come on, because I know when I start hitting to the higher levels, it's gonna get even worse. So anyway, let's go into Chocolate Island Two. And this one is a fun one because this one you can go in and do uh, multiple paths. Uh, I believe it depends on the amount of time that you spend in the area or how many coins you collect. Uh, I know it's e it's between one of those. Uh, so I'm going to try first doing it with uh, getting several of the coins in the area if there are any more coins. So let's go ahead and get these dragon coins. Let's go ahead and take care of those two dinos. Which I find that just hilarious that... Even if you're a Yoshi or if you're Mario, and if you do the spinning uh, pound, 
uh, you can take out even the bigger enemies, and that just disturbs the crap out of me. Like, Mario is so small, and he's able to take them out with just this, his boot. Like, I mean, I'm like... Like, what is his boot made of? Like, I mean, is it made of, like, solid steel or something? Like, seriously, like, taken straight off of, uh, Paper Mario Sticker Star. Because, yeah, there are actual steel boots and stuff in there that you can use as power-ups. Or at least for the steel boot stickers. No! Why didn't I do that? Why did I jump off of Yoshi? I didn't even need to do that. Screw Chocolate Island! Screw Chocolate Island! Honestly, I'm not even really a big fan of chocolate anyway. I mean, don't don't get me wrong. Like, I mean, I like, like, candy chocolate, like Kit Kats and Reese's and, like, uh, Crunch Bars and, like, stuff like that. But, I mean, I don't go, like, crazy for, like, ice cream chocolate. Like, it's it's weird. Like, I'm more of a vanilla person. Like, and the guy, guys, if you want to, tell me in the comments uh, what kind of ice cream you like. Because I also like strawberry sometimes. But, again, I'm also weird with that. Like, I don't like the fruit pieces of strawberry. Like, I like just the actual strawberry. And, whoa, I'm surprised I got on that trampoline. And we're just being daredevils. Look at this. Look at this. Just bouncing, bouncing, bounce, bounce. Bounce, gulp, bounce, gulp. Gulping bat dogs. Dinner, bat dogs! Also taken right off of Home Alone. Or, excuse me, not Home Alone. Homeward Bound. Wow. That's... That's definitely not taken off of Home Alone. Wow. No, it's just... That's just... Wow. Mushroom Land! Yes, literally in some portions of the area, like I said, every single area will be different. Uh, sometimes you can get, like, 20 or, like, 15 mushrooms in one area. Sometimes you can get more than that. It just depends. So I think that was, like, about 15 or so. Anyway, let's go into the pipe. And then we should be able to get across this portion. So now we have two P-switches. If we want to, we can actually use that second one. I believe if we had a feather, I think there actually is something up there to make it so that we can get to another area. But I'm not going to worry about that for now. So we're going to go ahead and move on. And we got 25 star bonus points. So that will bring us up to 39. So very nice so far. Very nice. And we're making pretty good progress so far in this episode. Already getting through Roy's castle, and already we're going to be making it possibly to uh, the next castle soon. So it's going to be very nice. Going to be really nice. So we're in Chocolate Island. I think this is three. Three or four. I think this is Island Four. Oh my god, why did I do that? Like, do not daredevil like I am doing. Like, seriously, I'm just trying to be a show off, and I'm doing a horrible job at it. And we're going to hold on to this purple shell because it's our best friend. This purple shell is our best friend. And because I like the purple shells, the blue shell, it's purple or blue, whichever one you want to call it. It's It looks almost the same. And that was completely daredevilish. Like, I was really going to make that jump. So, I, I apologize for that, Mario. Be with the starving pygmies down there in New Guinea. Amen. Again, also copyright. I know. I just copyrighted off of Larry the Cable Guy. So, anyway, let's go ahead and keep moving on. Let's take out some of these turtles. These turtle Koopas and their turtle shells. And let's take out this red one. We're going to carry the red one with us. Because the red one right now is special to us. It's like fire! Fire! Alright, and are you kidding me? Feather, come back here. Thank you. Gimme! Okay, so now let's move on. And I'm going to get that dragon coin. Thank you. Get out of my way. Alright, go into the pipe. Go into the pipe! I said get in the pipe. Thank you. Alright, and yeah! Coins! Lots of coins. At least a spot for you to get at least, uh, possibly about maybe two or three, two or three one-ups, possibly, depending on how many coins you already have on you at the time. And of course, we could fly up there, but we're not going to fly up there. We're just going to keep moving on. And we got fuzzies! Fuzzies! I hate these fuzzies. These fuzzies are... The fuzzies are the devil! As I just said, they are the devil and they just destroyed my Feather Mario powers! Super Mario World is the funnest game. It will never die because it will never... 
never die and it will go on. Alright, and now we're going to move on. And through a secret passageway. So for people who do not know, this is a secret passageway that you can go to keep moving on. And alright, we got three one-ups on that one. And made it to 22 star points. So very nice, guys. And so this is going to end our episode for today. And we will be continuing on in the next episode. So until then, guys, stay tuned for episode 7 later in the future. Thank you guys for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Later.